When you save somebody's life, this job has significance. Our guards, after they've been here a while, won't remember every person they save. I don't remember how many people I've done CPR on, I don't remember how many people I've rescued, I just don't remember. I remember some. One was a little girl. She was on a surf mat that her daddy had rented for, put her on a surf mat and let her go out in the ocean, which has waves and rip currents. No, she didn't know how to swim at all. She started going out in the rip current and the girl panicked, fell off the raft and immediately just went under. When I went out to get her, you know, I passed the father who was in clothes. I ran, swam past other people, dove under the water where I last saw her. came up with her in my arms. Those kinds of things, you know, if you weren't there, the person would have died. We don't wait for people to be in a dire need. You know, we're pulling people out because the person did not respond to our attempts to move them out. The guard doesn't wait for them to realize they're drowning. guard will go running and swimming out to the person and then pulling them back in. Our beach patrol guards go through a test, an all-day test, to be enrolled in Surf Rescue Academy. They receive all the training that they need for the job. They receive all their certifications. They have some really, some of their longest, hardest days of their life. Most of them work to get there. They work to get through it. They have to work as a team. When something happens, everybody knows what to do. Nobody stands around wondering, what's my role? They know their role. Most of our rescues here are done with a buoy and a lifeguard, running down the beach and swimming out to the person a paddleboard, it's another rescue device. There'll be people that may be pulled a long way offshore. It's better for us to paddle out quickly as we can. Because it's on the surface, a person can move on a paddleboard much, much faster than they can swimming. The landline, it's another piece of life-saving equipment the lifeguard would normally swim out to the person. Once they attach to the victims, they give the signal back to the beach, and then people on the beach will just pull them back in like they're fishing. At the end, we just want to have a chance to just acknowledge them by name. We call it rookie graduation. Have them run through the veterans. That was a chance for them to just clap and applaud the rookies. It kind of connects the veterans with the rookies. Graduation was a chance for them to all come together, have a good time. But when it's over, they really feel an accomplishment. They know they've done something that has mattered. When they go to the standing wear the uniform, they feel the accomplishment of having done something that was worthwhile. This job has significance. When you save somebody's life, you know, you may save Joe's life. But when you find out Joe is somebody's son, Joe might be somebody's husband, might be somebody's father. When you find out Joe is somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, 
So when you save Joe, you've impacted a whole lot of people. And the people here feel something that they don't get in most careers. They know they've done something that has mattered to somebody else or an entire family.